Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to talk about a master class what do you need to host a master class right so as a creator as a uh, as somebody who's uh, done courses before that kind of stuff you might be thinking okay I can do master class so what do I need what's the difference between a regular class a master class and what do I need to get that done so personally I'm going to be doing a master class in 2021 depending on when you're seeing this maybe you can actually join I'm not sure we're going to do a couple things and I'm going to show you what you need or at least what I'm going to be putting together to host that master class so let's get to it in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so a master class so first of all what do we what do I mean by a master class right so master class can be defined a bunch of different ways I've talked about it before first of all a master class is a class it is a class why is it a master class I'm not really sure to me it just means it's a class that might be longer or it might be more specific or more precise in what it's trying to teach but in the end it's it's a class that teaches something that your audience wants right so what do you need to host a master class just like any other concept of course you need to have the knowledge around the topic and you know I I took some notes here and one of the things is you first need to have belief in yourself you got to believe that you can do this master class right if you don't believe that you have the knowledge that others want then obviously it's not going to work out because there's you're, you're going to be you know you're not going to be confident you're not going to be um feeling like you can accomplish it you're not going to be you're going to feel like you maybe you're a fraud maybe you're not so you have to have that belief and if you don't have that belief let me tell you you know your stuff you are more knowledgeable than others that are going to be on there whether they whether you're and you know the expert that you want to be whether you have the the all the knowledge that you think you need to have that isn't something that should stop you you got to think of the fact that your audience you're going to be bringing into your master class doesn't know what you know at least they don't know everything you know so you're still more knowledgeable than them it, it doesn't mean like I mean if you're starting out obviously you don't want to you don't want to have people come into the audience that knows more than you or at least you're I mean you still want them there especially for support but I mean you're not going to go you shouldn't go out and try to attract people who know more than you for the class right you can reach out and have conversations that kind of stuff but uh, for ads or anything like that where you're actually getting attracting people you you just you just need to attract people who know less than you so just keep that in mind right so you know enough to host a master class but you have to believe it and that's number one right number one is you got to believe that you can accomplish it all right so number two number two that you need is you need to have a topic others are willing to pay for I mean having a topic that people aren't willing to pay for obviously won't work right it has to be something that people would actually pay for and how do you how do you find a topic like that that's a, a topic for another another question another episode maybe right but I mean the thing is that if it's a topic that makes after they learn it if they're going to be able to make money then then that's one of the easiest ways to just to to figure out whether it's gonna you know whether people are going to be willing to pay for it right if if it generates income for them to learn what you're going to teach then yeah they're going to be willing to pay for it now how much and you know all that that's a separate topic but just make sure that it is something that people are willing to pay for because it'll give them I mean and it doesn't it doesn't have to be something that they're going to generate income from it can be something that it's going to save them a lot of time or they're not it's going to save them money like you know teaching them how to do something that if they did it themselves it would take them you know five times longer because you're showing them the ins and outs and the, the gotchas and the tricks and the things that 
they need to avoid so that they don't have to redo it you know things like that that it could be anything that they would save time and money on doing themselves versus learning from you right so there's those are <clears throat> the two main ones where they're going to be willing to pay for right uh the other one uh, maybe is a topic that is expensive to learn like for example uh well obviously you're not going to do master class on being a doctor or anything but I'm, I'm but as an example something that somebody would pay for going to university they would pay thirty thousand dollars to learn uh because and I'm not saying you can teach that necessarily in a in a 10-hour master class but you know some of those topics right some of those topics parts of those topics where you know for example a dentist chiropractor doctor that has a an office and they need to they need to find new clients for themselves right they need to learn some of the marketing skills they need to learn some of those things they if you uh, have some knowledge of their industry then they might be willing to pay you to teach them how to set up a funnel how to set up a email list how to set up a capture page how to set up their Facebook group how to set up their Facebook pages all these things they if they're your target audience they might be willing so that's anyways those are things that people would be willing to pay for you got to find something that they're willing to pay for the next thing is a place to host your master class your master class needs to be at least that's my that's my belief that and that's what I'm doing it needs to be something that you're going to be able to sell afterwards because you know ma the master class would normally be something that you would actually host live in maybe a Facebook group maybe in a webinar platform maybe depending on you know the different kinds of the different the type of uh, class it is but typically a master class will be something where you want interaction when you want the live people on there you want them to be asking questions commenting and maybe you're asking them about whatever it is they're trying to accomplish based on your what your master class is about right and you want a place to host that but you want it to be able to host it afterwards so you, ne you need to be able to capture who's interested who's who's going to be on the master class so you can email them and let them know hey by the way uh, session number one is happening on this date at this time make sure you join here's the link and you got to be able to email them right so you got to have the list of them so where do you put that let's go and do that right now I'm actually going to show you right now what I did for my master class that I'm happen having in a few weeks maybe a month or two depending on how things go but uh, let's just uh, <clears throat> actually I gotta share my screen here let's share the screen so oh I forgot to set that up to make sure it was nicely laid out here where's the there we go like this and whoops where's that so you need a place to host your course as a after your master class is done right so for me I use obviously my platform so what you got what you do is you go here and you you well let's uh, let's let's create a new incognito window so when you first go there <coughs> to click ecourse.com let me just uh, put the link on the screen here uh where is where is it click ecourse right so when you first go to click ecourse.com um actually that's not the right link let's do that whoops what am I doing what am I doing there it is right here let me fix that over here all right so when you first go to click ecourse.com you're going to see a page like this where you just need to register right just click on the uh, register button up uh, link up there you just click on continue with Facebook it'll log it'll use your Facebook account uh you uh, email and it'll uh, create the account for you your profile picture all those things based on your Facebook account if you want to use an email a separate email or a different email and or you don't want it to tie to Facebook then that's fine you just click on that button that says use email and password and then you put your email and password in there and you click the register button uh the difference when you use Facebook is it's going to log you in automatically because it already knows you're logged in and, and it allows you're allowing it to get that information right so it lets you log in and create the account for you but if you click if you use the email and password it'll send you an email where you have to click the activate link in the email because we need to make sure the email is a valid email and you can get it because you know what if you make a typo or your email is is fake you're not going to be able to register an account right you need an account you need a, a proper email to create an account all right so that's the first thing after you've registered <coughs> your account you're going to want to create a course you click on the big plus here create course and then in this um 
you create a, a, a holder for your master class like for me I've I'm just going to go show you the course <laughs> I created my master class is right here right now it's still kind of being built if you will right uh and but uh, in the in the master class you would create uh, lessons and in there you would lay out what the what the master class will look like when it's all said and done right you don't have to have um you don't have to have uh the the whole <clears throat> everything necessarily perfectly laid out but you want to have something in there right so this is actually this was actually this is not the right one this is a test I did not long ago let's go back here I actually have a master class I've become a perfect webinar master this is this one over here <clears throat> there you go so this one here is the master class that I'm creating so far I've created I've put in uh, four different uh, lessons which of course it will be more than that but you have a place to host it and then what happens is you will be able to send people to this like see this link up here let's uh, get that out of there let's get that out of there so the link that's up there well actually uh, yeah let's just put it down for you right there so this link right here there right there so that link is the link to your master class you can have people you send it to there and they can get into there and if you um and what you want to do is you want to have well you don't have to do it this way you can do it different ways but for me as you can see I basically set it up so that when you first when somebody first gets in here they can actually get the master class at just 49 dollars right even though it's going to be 2000 <coughs> when they first when they when it's uh, public um that's going to be the official uh, retail price if you will and you're going to be able to buy the first 100 are going to have <coughs> you know uh the first 100 will have these uh prices right so I actually let me just edit this and I'm actually going to do <coughs> instead of first five sales let's just say uh, let's maximize this so let's just say I want to say sales let's I'm just going to say sales one two five then I'm going to say sales six two fifteen and then it'll be sixteen to uh, twenty five whoops I should do the same thing here right so I'm going to make this like this and then it will be twenty six to the next twenty so that's thirty five forty five <clears throat> uh 26 then it'll be 46 to whoops 46 to I'm going to type right uh to 5565 and then 66 66 to 99 at 299 right is that right is that going to be 35 anyways maybe my math, my math is off but um let's just get all this out of there 46 26 so but and instead of sales I want to say buyer buyer uh so so until the live session you can actually get this course at a huge discount with these coupons uh first so uh yeah so if if you click any any of the sold out coupons it will show it will show uh they they are no longer available the price will go to normal price yeah so basically this and I maybe have to kind of get a better explanation in here but I'm just going to save that like this I'm going to say done and then it'll be updated here right so one to five so I don't know if this is clear enough probably not I got to word that differently but in the, the point is that if somebody clicks on say this coupon here why would they click on this coupon if this coupon's still available right but once the first five sales are gone so one two three four five that's five sales six seven eight 
9 10 11 12 13 14 15 that's 10 sales so so anyways that's the thing right so 10 10 coupons uh, maybe that's what I need to say here let's just edit this again so so 10 five coupons <clears throat> okay so let's just say uh get it at 49 so um, five five coupons 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 only okay this is 10 10 coupons <clears throat> 10 10 coupons this one was 20 coupons this was 20 coupons and this was 40 right was it 40 <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh, <coughs> anyways I'm sorry I'll just, anyways the point is that you need a place to host your master class so that after you're recorded it you can actually put it in here right now as you can see these are all zero minute videos they're not real videos if I click on this in an in incognito window it'll just tell me that this is a well, first you're not logged in but then it says this course is not available to you right now this course is a it's only it's only two thousand dollars so you're not logged in you must log in to purchase it right so that's kind of what it'll tell anybody who tries to access your course before they buy it right but if somebody buys it at 49 dollars or 99 dollars or those prices that are there they're actually going to be able to get the well these videos as soon as they're posted right and it's a master class so you're going to post well I guess it's really up to you but I would recommend that you you post the new videos on there so that anybody who buys it right and they miss the live session say session number one is you know in a, in a week from now and they buy it and they they can't attend the live session well they should still be able to watch the video after it's recorded right so I would say you put you host you post that afterwards right all right so that's it here so what's the next thing you need the next thing you need is a place to gather your audience so item number four in our list is gathering your audience you gotta have a place where you can gather now you could be just the hosting place like this um but it's you know it's kind of like people can't really interact with each other uh at least not right now on the platform so you probably want to use a Facebook group right the Facebook group is probably the best place and it's the best uh, solution out there right now if you just click on the groups here uh, you can actually create your own groups right so create new group right there I already have one become a perfect webinar master that's my group that I created to talk about uh webinars right hosting webinars uh what is what are what, what are webinars how to how to create how to become a perfect webinar master because perfect webinar is actually something that Russell Brunson put together right so that's why I got this kind of wacky picture here this is actually my computer screen right there right that almost looks like we're both there but anyways that's my computer screen that's just me I just did a, a O with my face because that's kind of what I stopped him on but it doesn't that's not the point the point is you need a place where you can host put your own content in here get people to comment on your stuff right like Cassie Cassis right here who were, were commented on some, one of the posts I did and uh, as you can see I don't get a ton of engagement yet Shagar said awesome here and you know I don't get a ton of engagement yet but that's that's you know it's normal it's a group I created not long ago and it's a very specific group it's really specific to webinar there's only 32 people in there right now uh, I'm gonna have to probably invite more people and get more people in the group but you need a place where you can host um discussions you can post something on here you can do lives you can do all sorts of different things right and <laughs> have people that are interested in your topic so me I'm actually going to be doing a master class on this topic because it's something I've done for a long time I've done webinars I've done different kinds of webinars and I'm going through the perfect webinar scripts and I've gone through them a bunch of times but I'm kind of going through to kind of get my webinar done right um and in the end it's going to be uh eventually I'm going to have an, a webinar that takes people to the master class but for now it'll be the master class 
which will teach different things about a perfect webinar getting people to create their perfect webinar getting them to learn about the platforms that they need to use to host their course to host their <coughs> their webinar all those different things right so that's what uh, that's number four that you need a place to gather your audience like a Facebook group right so then you also need a tool to deliver it so that means you need you need a something to do with the recordings it could be as simple as a Facebook live if you wanted to do that the Facebook live allows you to you know deliver your content and have a conversation people can chat can comment on your video you can even leave your video on Facebook if you want personally I I want to do it using a webinar platform so it can either be something like a webinar jam like zoom uh or the platforms like that so in webinar jam if I show you well yeah let's just show you so webinar jam so webinar jam is a platform that you can actually let's just log in there we go click on this <clears throat> I'm just going to log in so I got a couple of different they have two different options every webinar and webinar jam every webinar lets you take a previously recorded webinar with the chat and everything and set up an automated webinar of that webinar right uh, whereas webinar jam is where you actually record a webinar you actually do a live webinar so you need to learn how to use this tool to create a webinar right if I was to add a webinar in here I did a bunch I did a few of them um, being omnipresent <laughs> I did a couple other different things in this platform I had another platform which I don't even know if I still have access well I should because I just stopped paying for the advanced because I switched over to webinar jam but expertise tv was a uh, is a platform where uh, you can host webinars as well uh, okay. and if I look at my webinars I got I did I didn't set up income on this thing or not but if I go to my webinars uh show past webinars so these are webinars I hosted before here right on this platform if we can see them showing up it should load up but they've been it's been a while so I'm not even sure can you even access I'm not sure if you can even access them if you're not paying for the oh yeah okay that's cool so I did some webinars on how to automate Facebook I did a bunch of them on that one right I did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know I did ten I guess ten of these or eleven even uh 12 13 I did 13 14 15 so these were all Facebook messenger automation 10 steps number two and then number three over here so I did a bunch of these to uh, automate Facebook right and using many chat and I did it with different uh different um people on here and yeah so then eventually we anyways but that's I use this platform to do that I should probably save and download all these and put them someplace so people can actually watch them if they feel like it right uh, but as you can see I didn't have a ton of people I had six people booked here I actually had 213 booked five I had four booked I had four booked 11 15 uh, 17 right so I didn't have I didn't so this one here I had 49 I think it was the the one I did with Michelle was it using mini chat no I guess it was the second one the first one I did with Michelle I had 40 that booked and 32 here so in, in the beginning I had more and then all of a sudden it started going down I kind of you know stopped doing this two five right two you know and it just it, but that's the thing right when you're doing webinars it's in, depending on how you because the, the part that I need to work on is getting people that I don't know into it people I know they'll they'll come right because they know you they want to support you but you really need to get people that don't know you to come in to really make those sales and get that going right but you need a place to host the other place that I use is zoom as well right so zoom so when you have a zoom account you can do just what whoops don't know so when you have a zoom account I'm going to log in again show you everything here Facebook oops <laughs> Facebook <clears throat> so when you when you use a zoom you can do two different kinds of meetings right zooms has the meetings thing which is basically uh where you host a meeting but everybody else just comes in and they're all they're all doing their the zoom thing with the camera and everything right it's all automatic or you can use the webinar part of it which is a separate thing that you have to pay for 
but the webinar part lets you have where you're just hosting and then anybody that comes in you you have to individually allow them to share their camera and their their sound and all that so it's a little bit more um controlled but you can do what you know it's just, it's like a webinar you can also share on on Facebook live and that kind of stuff um which you can also do an expertise tv webinar jam I haven't been able to do that uh, I'm not sure if they they allow it or not I I, I haven't really looked into it but <clears throat> but yeah so that's what you need you need a place to host your live event it's got to be a live event and the best thing to use is a webinar platform because it allows you to have interaction allows you to record the session as a webinar then maybe uh, host it as an automated webinar later on if you want to do that which I highly recommend you do but um one thing I would suggest is don't try to automate the first webinar you do because you're learning a lot you're going to make mistakes the platform might not work the way you expect it you might click the wrong button that kind of stuff so you really want to do a bunch of them and you know some leaders like Russell Brunson in, in the perfect webinar he actually talks about doing it for 52 weeks that's a whole year of doing it live so that you can automate it and uh, I'm not sure if that's really required but it certainly is a great idea to do that as much as you can until you automate it so that's your number four is a place uh, no number five it's actually it's a number five a tool to deliver it right a, a platform and uh, number six you need a, ca a funnel to capture people so I mean you could have just a course hosting place like this you can just say people but the thing is that not everybody's going to come in here and pay for this right away right this link for this 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 uh, these coupons that are here right those coupons like if I were just to click on this <coughs> because I'm, I'm I haven't started promoting this yet this is kind of what what people would see the first build says remain five of five right there are five coupons left for it but if they were to buy now they would actually get it at 49 dollars right by using this coupon now that captures them but what about the people who click it and actually don't necessarily join right so you want to be able to capture those people too so that you would use a funnel to do that so I use um, I'm using click funnels click funnels <coughs> let's use click funnels I'm going to show you uh, that <coughs> right here so in click funnels let me see where are my funnels whoops funnels let's see what I have in here because uh, I did create one uh, or maybe not maybe I didn't create it yet perfect oh yeah I did right here perfect webinar masterclass I haven't finished it yet at least I don't think I did <coughs> but this would be if you want click funnels uh, you would go to here the cf.jeansergegagnon.com so you want to create a funnel so use a, a platform that is known to work that's great that does does what it's supposed to do and is really geared towards that is is the it's its primary mission in life is funnels so definitely click funnels would be up there so let's just uh make that a little bit smaller so I mean clickfunnels.com or cf.jeansergegagnon.com is definitely um the funnel platform that you you should be using it really I mean there's a bunch of other platforms out there right and even clicky courses eventually gonna have funnel uh, as a as a and as an extra so you don't have to pay for different things but uh if you really want to make money online you want to use a platform that's meant for it right but so anyway so that's uh let's what's going on here okay <laughs> so uh let's just look at this the funnel and the cool thing about click funnels is that you can actually you know do whatever you want anywhere right any of these uh, boxes here you can you can um, you can put whatever text you want right so me I I wanted to create a funnel that would just let people join in but I probably want to give them something right why would somebody give me their email to go find out about this master class that they can go find out just by going to this this page right which is supposed to contain details about the master class right and what the lessons are and all that but I I so I have to kind of come up with a that's one thing that would be really good is to come up with a freebie that I can give people that would kind of give them a taste of what a master class what the master class is going to be teaching um so I still have to kind of come up with that but you would want a funnel to to capture leads and send them that so that means you need that and then you would need a email list 
to send them that right and which is what I did with uh, my list here I got Aweber <coughs> over here I actually created a list that just sends them the link I think right now let's uh, where is it can I do uh, what is it master uh, perfect webinar master class right here so this one here has under campaigns I have an email a welcome message right here which sends them a welcome to perfect webinar master class I like you see zero percent I just haven't sent it to anybody yet right um but yeah so let's uh where is that so that I mean that's under Aweber if you need an Aweber you need an Aweber definitely go to this actually I should edit that for me so settings on this I want to make it a background make the background make the background a little darker maybe like this whoops right over here there we go and make the color a little bit brighter there you go like this there oh that's kind of that's not very visible is it right <laughs> but that's the that's the thing so if I where is it where is the Weber uh, uh -oh. so a Weber and then let's uh make this a little bit let's make it white why not white right white there you go white on a darker background white on mm -mm. Uh, white on this I don't know there aweber okay so aweber.johnsocial.com if you want to get you actually get a free account on aweber up to 50 or I don't know how many um people you can have in your list without paying for but you know there's certain things you can't do obviously with a free account but you can get it from aweber.johnsocialgarner.com okay so let's just uh, that's it just enough of my rambling on promotion but anyways you in here you can set up a campaign to send people whatever it is you're sending them and the last thing I want to talk about is an ask campaign so I actually have to do an ask campaign myself let's just uh, go out of here I don't know I didn't make any changes let's go back to click funnels and let's create a new funnel to do an ask campaign I haven't done this before so let's just see what happens if I do a new build a new funnel uh, I'm just going to make it a custom funnel it's going to be ask for webinar master class <clears throat> okay and let's just go in here and create a basic ask campaign they're just supposed to be they're supposed to be ask ask funnels so let me see if there is an ask okay <coughs> email opt-in templates ask there's supposed to be some hmm so you're not an all render webinar sales <coughs> okay this is just an opt-in I don't necessarily and this is one thing I'm still learning how to use click funnels it's a very complex system even though they say it's supposed to be simple uh trust me I'm I'm technical and I have trouble and that that might be why I'm having trouble because I'm technical right lots of times they say if I do a show only my templates no so where do you find an ask think funnel maybe it's under no click pop what are click pops click pops yes membership webinar let's go to the webinar one so registration thank you broadcast room hmm. sales opt-in email let's go for email opt-in see what is in here so ask no I don't know I guess maybe it's got to be someplace else but let's just say we're going to do a we're going to do an ask an ask campaign is basically a funnel where you basically uh, let's look at this preview here 
getting the top number five download and then you put your name in here very cool to have a video there right hmm. okay uh there you go okay so I don't want to necessarily have something that's going to be it's got to be a, a funnel where I kind of explain what the master class is and then I ask them a question right maybe this one okay let's just use this one for now and we'll see if that works select template so the opt-in is going to be basically a page where I ask them a question and they put in their name and email and it can it would go to the same list right so if I go in here and I say in here what is your number so if I actually I'm listening to expert secrets uh, Russell Brunson's original expert secrets book which is this version here so let me see maybe I can find it quickly in here because he's talking about the ask campaign in here right does it is it in the right in there the perfect webinar model the stack try no that's not it three secrets maybe it's under yeah, it's under here Getting a mass movement one sentence persuasion I'm going to see if I can find it in here I should have looked that up obviously before true believers mm -hmm. one like a manifesto the new opportunity they really want the status increase right status increase perceived status in the pastures wealth real estate uh, opportunity stack the opportunity switch okay so who what statement I'm going to teach how to yeah. okay and then there is a I want a CD player the vehicle the results and this but most powerful ask them what they want there you go the ask them what they want so we used an ask campaign to collect loss lots of information important information from our market so first you create a very simple page that said that asks what's your number one question about okay what's your number one question about hosting a webinar right okay on the same page I offer I offer people a ticket to the beta group of my master class for free if they'll tell me their number one question so the page reads okay so free live workshop how to without okay so that would be what I would want I would say free <coughs> live workshop actually he's got it so look this is what he's got right here he's got there's the the page right here he's got this like this the ask campaign free live workshop what's your number one question and then your question your answer right <coughs> So your question okay so afterwards it has to ask them for their email right doesn't it <clears throat> so there has to be a separate page so this is probably not this <clears throat> uh, okay let's just see free free live you know what <clears throat> this is more than what we uh, want to do so let's let's keep this as my next episode because we're already 38 minutes in we're going to do this in the next episode we're actually going to do an episode on an ask campaign how to put it together I'm actually going to do a little bit more research so I do it right and we're going to talk about an ask campaign and how to set that up all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.